Welcome to the Learn to Sew Academy channel. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you. In this tutorial, we are making a pant. For this particular pant that I'm making, I'm going to be having an elastic waist for it, an elastic waistband. And it's going to be another strip of fabric that I'm going to be attaching. And the first thing we want to do is to fold our fabric in, in two, like this. And then we want to make sure that we have the wrong side out so that that's where we're going to be mark, marking. So what we want to do first is we first measure how about, you can do one and a half or two inches from the edge. You can use either of the edges. So I'm just going to do, I'm going to do two inches. So we just measure out those two inches from one end of the fabric to the other end and we connect this line. Now as we begin to cut, we're going to see why we are making this line first. Next thing is to take whatever our hip measurement is, we divide that by four. And that's what we're going to measure across here. That's going to be one fourth of our hip measurement. We're using an hip of 33 inches. So you divide that by four, we'll get 8.25. And then we add additional 0.5. And then I'm going to look for the midpoint of that. Whatever you have here, you want to check for the midpoint of that. So you want to mark that midpoint and go across, all across like that, marking that same midpoint. Again, we're going to connect these dots of the midpoint. Before I proceed, I'm going to measure the length we're going to be needing for this pant. Our total length for the pant that we're making today is 38 inches. But I'm going to be having um, a waistband of 2 inches. So that will leave me with 36 inches. But then at the top here, I'm going to be add, um, leaving an allowance of half an inch for joining it back to that waistband. At the bottom, I'm going to have an allowance of 1.5. So that's going to be 2 additional inches plus my 36. So I'm going to be needing 38 inches from this fabric. I'm going to measure that 38 inches to know where it ends. Because that's going to help me when I start to measure for my ankle um, round on this um, for this pants. And then I connect that line. So that is the line and I'm just going to extend all these markings that I did earlier. I'm going to extend it to make sure it gets to the end of where that line stops. Right now, this is where we're going to start to do our measurements. Next, we're going to measure for the crotch and we'll be using a measurement of 10 inches. Now, I've measured the um 10 and a half at uh, 10 inches here i'm gonna come here too remember that this was where i did my measurement for the for the hip i started it from here and i measure it up to here so from this point here i'm gonna be doing my 10 inches too right here and i'm gonna measure the same thing that i have which was nine altogether. I'm going to measure the same amount here at the bottom here. And so you can see what I'm doing much better. I'm just going to connect all of these together so we can see it better. Now I'm going to extend this by two inches over here. And this is what we're going to cuff 
to join up right here now we come to the bottom right here and we're going to measure for our ankle at the bottom now what we have for the ankle is 12 inches we're going to divide that by two that will give us six inches now this midpoint area is where we're going to use to measure our six inches so we want to measure three inches to the right three inches to the um, left of this midpoint so that is what we have here now the next thing we need to do is to connect our point right here which is going to be around our hip area we connect it all the way to the bottom we connect it all the way to the ankle so we just use that to connect we're just going to connect that point to the end on both sides we're going to do this other side too okay the next thing we need to do now we need to add a um, um, sewing allowance seam allowance so it depends on how much seam allowance you want so I'm just going to do one inch seam allowance the same thing on the other side on both sides we need the one inch seam allowance and we connect those lines on both sides and also still use your ruler too to connect the lines if you if that works better for you and then we're done drafting for the front and the next thing is to now cut so right here is the um, front this is going to be what I'll use to cut for the back the fabric is folded into two again and this front panel has been placed on top of that fabric to serve as a template now right here I'm going to extend it up by one inch over here and what we're going to do is we're going to form a slant from that point to the end of um, that side of the pant for the back we need to extend what we have here for the crush so I'm just gonna extend by three inches from that original before we had the sewing allowance so I'm going to extend that by three inches and then I'm going to come over here and do two inches right here so that my mark in here I'm going to join it to what I have over here and we form another curved line to right over here and connect our slant right there we want to now join from here to the end of our pant we want to use our ruler or if you're okay using your free hand you can do that too why not join it from here to the end of our pants so now we all cut in this case we don't need to measure another one inch over here so what we need to do now is just to cut following the markings that we've made on this fabric
and that completes the cutting of the both the front and the back parts of the pack now for the waistband the length of the waistband i'm going to be using is um two inches so that will be four since i'm not folding this right now so i'm gonna measure four inches but i'm gonna be adding half on both sides half half because when i fold it i'm gonna need half half on both end to uh for my seam allowance so right here i'm gonna be doing five inches so that by the time i fold this together into my waistband i'm going to be having two and a half on the fold so this completes this cutting of our pant we're gonna go ahead and go to sew the pant now so first we're going to join the crush area for both the front and the back that's the first step when we start sewing so what you have now is this after we finish stitching so this is what we are going to get so next thing is to put the back and the front together right side facing right side and then we're going to go ahead and stitch the sides the sides have been joined so the next thing to do is to go to the middle part of the pant the crush uh, area where we have the seam so you want to open up the seam like that and you're going to match the one from the front with the back seam where we've joined it together we just open up the seam so we're gonna match this together like that and then we start sewing from that middle point we go all the way sew one hand then come back and go over that stitch, making sure to lock your stitch. And then we sew the other side, all the way from that middle to the ankle area. Next, to take the waistband, the strip of fabric that you cut out for the waistband. And you can either start from either of the side seam joinings, where you join at the side. So you can also do it from the back whichever way you um prefer whatever you decide to do is okay so we're just gonna go from the same area and we're just gonna join this all across like that now when we start joining we leave a little whatever allowance we left when we were cutting this we leave some of it like that and then we sew it all across so that when we come to the end here we join it, we join both ends of the strip fabric. We come up to the end and we join it over there. Now, what we're trying to do is we're going to, after we've joined that side, we're going to fold it over like so. Remember, we did two inches. So we're going to fold it over after we've joined it all around. So we're going to form a casing. So that's what we're trying to do. This is where we're going to pass the elastic through. We're going to leave some space for our elastic we can either leave one inch or one and a half inches so that we can have some way through which to pass the elastic and to get the elastic what you need is you um take your waist and you can do anything between four and two and four inches less than what your waist is in this case i'm using a waist of 25 inches so i have an elastic that's 23 inches long here. So what you want to do is you just want to pass your Safety pin through your elastic as such and then you want to go to where you have your opening And then you want to pass this through and you go all across and at the end of it You're going to be folding at the end of the when you bring out your Elastic from the other side. You're gonna fold it like that and just sew it across to secure it and then you seal up where you have your opening in the fabric and that will complete your pant. The last step is to go to the ankle and to M the ankle area in. So again, you just open up your seams 
at the ankle and depending on what allowance you left so you just want to go and m this all around so that's the last part thanks for watching please be sure to subscribe thank you